Hi, thanks for joining. I received another message from the Lord on May 26, 2019. I spent a couple of days in prayer. Just receive an affirmation and a confirmation to release it. Um, it is a bit sobering, um, but it does appear that the Lord would like me to release this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder. I received some feedback that I'm soft-spoken, so I will try to talk a little bit louder and project my voice a little bit more. Let me start with the vision. I have another sketch. Um, the vision was pretty intense and pretty pretty fast. Um, I received a vision. Let me go ahead and pull in here. I received a vision that looked like um, uh, a nuclear explosion, um, definitely an explosion. This is like the broken part of the city. Um, this is like cement. Um, it was a cityscape scene. It was just this one scene down this area behind it. It looked to be like an orange glow, an orange red glow. Uh, there appeared to be um, smoke. It appeared to be, uh, it just looked like the aftermath of, of some kind of, of explosion. And let me see if I can move this here. What really stood out to me was these two light lamp um, street lights those really stood out to me. One was kind of bowed down this way and the other one was bowed down this way. And they were the old shape um, that you might see, you know, in the 18 or 1900s, more like a, where you see the flame in it, a, an older type of street lamp. And um, this was just a bunch of concrete and broken area. It was just the scene right here. Probably the most the strongest thing that stands out to me is at the moment that that vision was given to me, it was almost like the the Lord had me feel the the impact of that, of, of sort of the boom. It's almost like for those who are still seeing movies, when you go to the movie or you have a surround system, you get the subwoofer, there's that deep, deep, deep feeling you feel inside of you, the deepest space or when, when something happens in, in it just there's this feeling inside of you that is just so there's such finality and it just encompasses it was just the impact of that moment that split second was something I can't even articulate how that felt it was just finality is is the best way I can describe it and the moment I had the vision the Lord showed a message to me that went with the vision. And, and that was, um, the message that went with the vision. The Lord showed me the letters. I am, I will bring about the end. I am. And then when the vision went away, I received, um, a message in a, a part two of that message in my spirit that went along with that. And I'll read that now. Shake off the shackles of destruction and live forever. Choose eternal life through my son. And then after I received that message in my spirit was the song Deep in the Heart of Texas, um, the music and the lyrics in that song. And I believe the Lord was showing me that that, that song was, was attributed to it, but it not necessarily a location. I, I don't. I, I was not given any information about a geography, geography or a location of it. Um, what I felt more in my spirit and where I believe the Lord was leading was uh, the lyrics of the song. So go ahead and take I'm going to read it. Go ahead and take it to the Lord and um, with prayer uh, for interpretation. Um, but I, I believe it's the, the lyrics or the, the message within the lyrics that is... is um, something that we should take note of. So if you guys know the song, Deep in the Heart of Texas, it's usually two lines of lyrics, and then the third line goes deep in the heart of Texas, and then two lines of lyrics, and then deep in the heart of Texas, and so on and so forth. Um, I'm not going to read all of the deep in the hearts of Texas, because I think that I... I I believe the Lord is is having us review the lyrics and and then take it to him for interpretation. So the lyrics to the song go, the stars at night are big and bright. The prairie sky is wide and high. The eagles fly 
across the sky. The coyotes wail along the trail. The rabbits rush along the brush. The sage in bloom is like perfume. Reminds me of the one I love. So I think it's the beautiful lyrics and um, that is the vision, the words, and the message that I received from the Lord that um, that I think are, are, are worth um, mindfulness and thinking about them. Um, because even though the Lord asked me to title this Shake Off the Shackles, he, there's also a stirring in my heart, there's something around um, those lyrics about being deep in the heart of decision. So whether that's somebody who's already made a decision for the Lord, if they're in the valley of decision, or if they haven't made a decision at all, uh, the Lord is encouraging us to make a decision for his son. And with that, I'll leave you to review the scripture and the information I provide in the notes section. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ or accepted him as your Savior, Lord, and King, I encourage you to do so. And I thank you. Bye-bye.